Hello for book questions, it is I, Aaron the Book Questioner. Today I introduce you to this almighty book, Just Like Me by Nancy J. Kavanaugh. This is a sacramental book if you've ever seen one. And this book is about a Chinese girl named Julia who has been adopted from China, China when she was very young and doesn't know any Chinese words and doesn't care. And meanwhile, her friends, her, her Chinese sisters, who, are, who, who have looked exactly the same with her when she was a baby, and, and they were adopted from the same orphanage, and they live really close to each other, which is kind of cool if you ask me. And they are going to this camp little big woods to have a bonding experience for, for Miss Marcia, Miss Marcia, who was some kind of ad adoption, some adoption staff or something, writing a, a article about them, about adoption and stuff like that. And Julia is very contented with this idea. She wanted to go to craft camp with her best friend Madison, but she has to deal with it. It it could be that bad after all. No, it could be that bad. Here's how it goes. When she arrives in the little camp, little big woods, um, the, every Becca and herself, Julia, realizes that there. You see, every and Becca had went to camp, little big woods every summer, every single summer. At least they tried to, and there, they had two. Uh, they had they had arch enemies named Vanessa and Meredith. And they were in the same cabin as them. And even worse, this time, there is a camp competition, like there always is. But the teams aren't just randomly picked. It's the cabins. And, and they are in cabins with people that they are arch enemies with. And, as you might think, what? A team of arch enemies? There is no way they can win. But... There is a chance if they learn to gain friendship with each other. And that's exactly what happened. After going through a lot of trouble, a lot, a lot of trouble, they are made to clean the dish, to clean the dishes. The dishes, you see the, the giant campers, like 50 over 50 campers or something like that, they and each camper used several bowls. That would be horrible. And it seems that they'll never, ever, ever get finished. But then there they worked it out. Uh, so while they were cleaning, they got into another argument. And they began to sprinkle water on each other and have a water fight. Throw paper towels and stuff like that. And then they started to work it out as their as their bodies kind of got out all the stress into fun. And then they went on good planning and they began to go up on the leaderboard or whatever they called the scoreboard. And then they got, in, they got into trouble again. And the last race where all their like trust broke down, all because of a piece of yarn. That, that you have to read the book to get the specifics on. It is because of herself, Julia. And the book ends with Julia realizing that there, there may be a hundred Chinese girls that, that was adopted from China and, and had the same orphanage photo as her, but there was no one just like me. And that's and a lot. And so, and henceforth, the book's name is just like me and I think the title is well written and the whole book even more and like always a book question or in the book question this book is it's written like um there's parts after the chapters that's written as letter to Miss Marcia and much like this book by Beverly Clearly, Dear Mr. Henshaw, this book, alas, is 100% um, letters, but this book, it's only partly, but it's kind of the same type, I'm guessing. And both are about, um, 
um, kids trying to work their identity out, and there's trauma in their life, some kind of trauma. Well, and well, what it is a divorce or something else entirely. And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the bookquester.